What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Curl. If you're here for the first time, please make sure to give me a subscribe and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up at the end. Today, I want to talk to you about the new Super Mario x Levi's collection. So, Levi's is one of my favorite brands. If it's one of your favorite brands, let me know in the comments below. Super Mario is one of my childhood favorite games. Now, if you were a kid in the 90s, then Super Mario obviously must have played a big part in your life. I didn't even have a Nintendo. I used to go to my best mate's house and play on his. I ended up getting a PlayStation in the end, um, which I was stoked on, and I played lots of other computer games on there. Super Mario is still one of my favorite games and I was stoked when Levi's contacted me and were like, hey Kitty, we have a new collaboration with Super Mario, do you want some? The thing is, I think that people would probably think, if you've watched my previous videos, you follow me on Instagram and all of those things, that I like these really bold graphic t-shirts. And yes, sometimes I do, but actually the thing that I think is so sick are like the smaller details on items like this collaboration. In the jeans, the buttons have like Super Mario detailing on them, the pockets on the inside have Super Mario detailing on them. The back patch on Levi's, if they do collaborations, they always make it really cool and show you like a new form of the Levi's patch with each collaboration. So yes, as you can see, I'm wearing this logo t-shirt right now, which is cool, but the details that I'm gonna show you in the jeans are actually sick. Like, so sick. It's attention to detail like that in collaborations that I think really makes the difference. I'm wearing a pair of uh, 501s, they're Levi 501s that they've done this Super Mario collection collaboration with and I just think that they're so sick, they fit me so well and they're so comfortable. A good pair of 501s is a classic staple for your wardrobe. They're not cheap but they're going to last you forever. So the amount of money they cost you per wear ends up being so minor. If you can put a little bit of money away each month, save up for a pair of Levi's 501s because it is so worth it. They go with everything, they're a classic, everybody's butt looks good in them, definitely try a pair on if you get a chance. And also you can always get some vintage 501s, they're really easy to find in loads of vintage stores, thrift stores if you're American. Do you, do you like Super Mario? Are you a 90s kid? Did you have a NES, SNES and did you play Super Mario? Who is your favourite character? I always like playing the, the princess because I am a mother effing princess, guys. Okay, so what's up guys? Right, let's talk about these Levi's. So my Levi's 501s, they came with this turn up. They have this detailing on the inside, which obviously looks great. This says powered up, which is pretty sick. So like from Super Mario, obviously, just says powered up all the way through. And again, like you can continue to roll them up to make them shorter if you wanted. You could double this up to make it like a thinner turn up. I just think the attention to detail like that is what makes it for these kind of collaborations for me. Again, on the inside, the buttons are so sick. And if you can see that, hopefully you can. Um, yeah, the the details of like, so for example, the top one has the mushroom, um, the top two have the mushroom and the bottom two have the little star detailing on them and it's so sick and they say Levi Strauss on them like, like the normal Levi's buttons would have, but I just love that so much. And then the inner of the pockets, again, has Super Mario print, like, all on the inside, which, again, I know no one can see that when you're wearing them, but I just think it's so dope. What people can see, however, is the label on the back. It's finer details that make them look not only more interesting than a usual pair of Levi's 501s, but kind of more expensive in a weird way. I know this is a silly, fun, kind of childish collaboration. The attention to detail just makes them feel more luxurious to me. And then the final thing that I absolutely love is this coin in the small mini pocket. 
I just love that. I think that's something that you can see when you're wearing them. It's very minor, but very cool. Um, the Levi's tag on the back is not red. Um, like the, the normal Levi's tag gets yellow. I don't know if they do um, a yellow tab for all collaborations. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's a collaboration thing. I should look at some of my other Levi's collaboration jeans because I have a few. Here is the Levi's t-shirt which I love. I just think it's super cool. You can't go wrong with a big logo print and obviously Mario on the front of your t-shirt and it's like a raised print so it's really good quality. Thick cotton t-shirt. Easy to wear with so many things, uh, and yeah, simple, can't go wrong with a good t-shirt, can you? So they also sent me this cool bum bag, which I tend to wear bum bags across, you know, it's very fashionable these days to do that rather than as an actual bum bag. So that's how I'll be wearing this. Um, it says power up on the front, obviously from the Super Mario game, and it has all the characters all over them. It is very bold and very bright. Um, and lastly, what I have in the collaboration is a hoodie, and it's just a simple, really good quality, thick Levi's hoodie. Uh, it has a little power up Levi's tag in the corner, which is super cute. And this embroidered Levi's logo and um, Super Mario, Mario himself. And then on the back, it's a me, a Mario! <laughs> I don't know why you guys watch my channel, because I'm a nerd. Uh, and just to show you the tag detail, um, the quality of all of these items is really, really good. They feel really good on with everything that I've tried on. Like I say, the 501's classic. Everybody needs a stable pair of 501's. If you can get a pair that fit you well, they will last you forever. And I think it's really nice when they have these accessory details in these collaborations because, you know, if you really love a collaboration, if I'm buying something, I don't always go for the hoodie or the t-shirt because I've got so many of those things. Sometimes I want to get a cap or a tote bag or a little bum bag. Like, what new collaborations have you been talking about uh, and thinking about and looking at to buy? What should I unbox next? Should I actually, while I'm here, should I do another unboxing? Okay, so just a random little thing. I've got quite a few Kid Robot um, figures and I just wanted to show you a couple of them because that's something else that I love collecting. And this one is a Tado, I think that's how you say it, or Tado, Tado, no, you say it, Tado. Um, Kid Robot Dunny, this is one of my favorites. I love the size, it's not too small and not too big so you can get some massive dunnies. Um, and I just love the details on him, his three eyes, the coloring, the kind of like wood effects on his ears. I just think he's really cute. And I think that I got this in Forbidden Planet at some point or somewhere like that. This is another little Kid Robot Dunny. Um, it says Denmark the Destroyer on the bottom of him. No, Daymark the Destroyer, sorry. So that's who uh, collaborated on this Dunny. Let me do it on. And I've got a few of these little Dunnies that Kid Robot makes. They, they come in blind boxes. If you collect them, you know what I'm talking about. It's like this little box and you open it up and on the outside it shows you one of like maybe 15 um, different uh, designs that you can get or different collaborators that you can get and you don't know which one you're gonna get. This, do you know what, I cannot remember. Someone please tell me in the comments um, who this guy is, but that is it, that is my video today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, what else would you like to see? I could do some more unboxings. I do lots of unboxings, like quick little ones on my Instagram. Uh, but yeah, I thought it would be cool to bring kind of like bigger unboxings where I can talk through them and try on stuff to my YouTube. And yeah, peace out guys, have a good week. And don't forget, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. People need to see what I'm talking about, you know?